there thanks for joining me on this tutorial of going over velocity velocity is something that can really enhance your videos if you know there's dancing or some sort of movement where the movements going to pause or slow down speed up go backwards you can have all kinds of fun with velocity and here is a tutorial of how I do that First off, so I am using Vegas 13, but this works across pretty much, I think, all of them, all that I've used so far. First off, bring your media onto your timeline. I actually imported a DVD, and I just used that by the same exact options of importing media and then importing a DVD by typing in... And how you do that would be to just type this extension and you would hit enter in it, any of those files. That is actually what is in the VLB file. will identify it and open it. I created another tutorial that will guide you through that if you would like to know more about it. So please check that out. I have a link up right here. Okay. Now, once you have your video footage, and of course you have some audio, and you know, for practical purposes, this is just some great free, royalty free music that I absolutely adore from a gentleman. And you can check him out underneath my bio. I always put a link to it. And so here's some of this other music that is pretty candid and would I use it in a normal video? Probably not for this tutorial. Yes, I will. Here we go. In order to enable velocity, first you have to go into click onto your track. You're going to want to right click and here's also, you know, information that you can do underneath insert remove envelope is velocity what's going to happen is now you have this bar. You're at 52% for it. If you just wanted to drag the whole thing and slow a video down, you could do it this way. But we're going to be working with keyframes. And keyframes is just saying, here's a point A, here's a point B, and in between there, what kind of effect would I want to do? All you have to do to make a keyframe is double click. I can hover over it and I see that my velocity as, is at 100%. So here we go. I'm going to... So you want to, you know, play your video so you can listen to your music. <laughs> I think this is the funky chicken. Okay, now I'm going to make another keyframe over here. And then so here's grandma having a great time. I guess I want to get, get around to her fast, to this other lady fast. <laughs> Okay, so I like to edit on beats, and that would be a perfect time to have Grammy dropping down and going slow. So we'll just look at that again. Try not to hit your space bar because space bar takes you back to your original play location. Okay, so I'm going to double click and then I'm going to double click again. I'm going to make two keyframes next to each other because I want it to be my stop point here. And so then you'll drag it back up. 
I believe I did a tutorial very similar to this on audio using keyframes. You would do that the same way if you ever needed to do that. Go down to your audio track and in, to enable it you can hit V and you're clicked on your audio that you would want, your volume adjustment, and then you would just click V again to get rid of it. If you've set a keyframe, just because you don't have it enabled, just because you don't have it enabled doesn't mean that it's not there. It is still there. So make sure if you did that by accident, you know, you it was intended you go back in, you hit B, and you fix that, whatever. So here we go. Okay, so you pretty much get the picture of how to use that, and it's all really just about using your creativity. And, you know, maybe if you didn't have the best you know, footage to start out with, and maybe a lot of people weren't dancing, at least you can, you know, and make it seem a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.